Yo, it's Trent. Hope everyone's having a good day. Happy Wednesday. It's pretty early. It's like, it's not that early. It's 10 a.m. I guess that's, for some people, that's late, you know. Some people wake up at like 6, 7 a.m. But let me tell you, it feels pretty damn early to me. Not a single person looks awake in the neighborhood. No one's walking around. It's cold. I had to start my car, warm it up just to sit in here and turn it back off. <laughs> But anyways, we got uh, my first time taking acid alone went horrible or went wrong, whatever the title is, right? So this is back. I may have told part of the story, but I know I've never gone into full detail and it deserves full detail. So yeah, first time taking acid alone went horribly wrong. It just, it was a bad idea. That's what it was. It was just a really bad idea. So I, this is when I was younger too. I was like 16 or 17 when I had my little my little acid phase. And really how it started was I just liked smoking a lot, right? And I wanted to try other things. And soon enough, I would try other things, you know, pills and certain things. But at the time, I was scared of those. I was scared of all that, right? So I'm watching my friends try psychedelics, right? Someone ate shrooms once. Someone had a DMT cart down the road. I, I never tried that. I was too scared to try that because because of the acid. I could barely handle acid. Why would I ever try DMT? That's crazy, right? So anyways, I, what ended up happening is I watched my friends take acid like five, six times. Like I was the trip sitter, right? Not actually, because I didn't know how to calm anyone down if I had to, but no one ever had a bad trip. I literally just sat in the basement and watched my friends for like, three or four weekends in a row, just trip balls and have fun, right? So eventually when I got a little less scared of what could happen, cause I still wanted to try it. And when I asked, when I asked my friend what it was like, he told me it was wild, which is a pretty, you know, okay answer. When I asked this other dude who was like kind of my friend at the time, when I asked him what it was like, he told me it was like weed, but a little bit stronger, which is bullshit. It's not like weed at all. It, that That's a lie. If someone tells you that they're fucking with you, right? But I listened to him. I took that to the heart. I was like, okay, it's just like weed, but a little, little more intense. Like, I can handle that, right? So when I tripped with my friends, which I've told plenty of those stories, there's the acid adventure, there's the bad trips with the boys, there's a whole bunch of stories about tripping with my friends, right? Well, those times, besides a couple of them, which I've told, went well, went fine, like it was fine, right? I built up enough confidence to where one of these times I'll try it alone. Now, the day that this happened was completely unplanned. It just happened. Like it was a spur of the moment thing. So I remember I woke up and me and my friend, uh, friends, uh, you know, it's really just my one friend who I was tight with. And then there was the mutual person that we hung out at their house. I wasn't really friends with them, but either way, that's not important. Um, I decide, hey, well, we all decided we're tripping on this day, but then things got canceled. I can't remember if we weren't allowed to go over to his house or if one of my friends was busy, whatever the deal was, but we couldn't do it anymore. But that didn't sit right with me because I, I don't know. I, I already was not going to school this day. I wanted a trip and I we were expecting to. So now that it's taken away at the last second, that upset me, right? So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to take this tab anyways. What's the worst that could happen? And really, the only reason I took it, not the only reason, I mean, I wanted to have fun, but the reason I was okay with taking it was because, like I said, I'd had already three to four trips with my friends, and it had gone completely fine. Like, nothing bad had happened up until this point. So, for me, I was like, nothing bad can happen to me. That was my mental. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm good. Like, I won't have a bad trip. That can't happen. It's only been good, right? Just dumb. And I take this tab, right? Now, let me tell you what's going on at my house. All right. During this story time, my mom's at home. Right. And my little sister's at home at the time. My brother hadn't been born yet because this is years ago. This is like four or five years ago now. Um, so I go down there and it was just after I took it. So think about that. Let's say it's just 12 p.m. That's easy time. Let's say we're st like it's midday, 12 o'clock. Right. I take the tab. About 30 minutes later, I go downstairs because I hear my mom and my sister laughing. I'm like, oh, what are they doing down there? So I walk down there. Nothing had kicked in yet. And they're watching Grown Ups. And I know this is the part I've talked about, but I'm going to go over it again because it's it's interesting. So they're watching Grown Ups. And so I start watching it with them. And at first, nothing's happening. I'm just I'm watching it. It's completely normal. Now, let me tell you the moment things changed when I realized that I went from 
just, you know, tripping a little bit maybe to being like, oh shit, like the acid is in me, right? Do you know the scene where they walk up to the basketball game, right? And kind of towards the end. It's when Kevin James has the uh, KFC bucket on his head with the eye holes cut out. And they're walking up in slow-mo for the basketball game. The one dude has the cast on his foot. That's the exact, that was the exact part, okay? I'm watching that. The moment that Kevin James takes off the damn KFC bucket, right? He reveals his face from the KFC bucket. His head blew up into this giant red balloon. Like his face just turned red and inflated like a balloon. And then pop. And then it was just normal, right? Like it went back to normal. And then there were all these streamer colors that just started going down the uh, TV. And I was sitting there like, what the fuck? And I remember this clear as day. My mom asking if I was all right, because apparently I had been watching normally, like watching the TV. And then in a matter of seconds, my face had gone to almost horror. I was like, I was like, what the hell? And I just remember them asking if I was all right because I seemed weird. And as soon as they said that, I was like, okay, I need to go back upstairs to my dungeon. Like, I can't let them see me like this. And that's not, you know, I didn't want them to know I was on that stuff, which they didn't know. So I didn't care. But still, like, I would have cared if they found out. So I didn't want them to know. I take my ass upstairs, okay? And it was overwhelming that that like I ha wasn't having a bad trip yet. I was just overwhelmed. I was like, man, this is too much going on. I'm tripping balls. I need something to watch. So I can't remember what exactly I tried to put on, but I tried to put on something that normally I could watch all the time, like like Trailer Park Boys or King of the Hill. I just remember putting on something like that. It was probably Trailer Park Boys, but I put it on and I remember not being able to focus at all. And all my thoughts were like, uh, like, I don't know. I wasn't thinking normally. Like my first thought when I was watching Trailer Park Boys is they're they're literally making the scenes to make us laugh. Like none of this is real. Like I was thinking way too deep about everything. I was like this show, it's not even a show. It's just guys, regular guys like me just standing there talking to each other. It's all pretend. It's all made up. It's all fake. All of life is fake. I was just getting into my own head, just tripping fucking sack, dude. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, "Okay, I'm not feeling good, right? And I start kind of panicking, you know? I'm like, oh, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I don't want to have a bad trip. I don't want to have a bad trip. I go see the dog, right? Because I'm like, hey, I know my dog is in my mom's room. And the dog, she's nice and calm. And she's alone because my mom and sister are downstairs. Let me go see the dog. That's got to help, right? It was the only thing, the only thing out of this whole trip that I would say was calm. The only calm thing. Because... Everything else was stressing me the fuck out. I saw that dog, big pitbull. Oh, I laid my head on her, Shelby. She's a good girl. I just laid with her and for I don't know for how long because, you know, time off acid is weird. So I laid there what felt like 20 minutes but could have been however long. But I remember just laying there and that's the only time I felt okay. Well, I go back into my room and I sit down and I'm like, okay. I'm starting. I mean, I, I know I been talking like time wasn't passing that fast but let's say it's been now it's like 3 p.m or 4 p.m so we're not at the peak yet but we're getting pretty close to when i was like really tripping and i start panicking okay like no lie i i was sitting there trying to play mad and i couldn't play games i couldn't watch shows i couldn't look at my phone everything was overwhelming and really i what i needed to do was just let the acid take me and just calm down but I, I didn't have that mindset. Like, I didn't know. I mean, I knew what was going on, but not really. Like, I shouldn't have been tripping alone. That's really what it was because I couldn't calm myself down. All I needed was someone to tell me, like, you're fine. You're good. But I didn't. I couldn't think that. Right. So I start forgetting who the fuck I am. And I've told this part, too, where I had to look in the yearbook just to see my picture and be like, oh, I'm a person, like Jesus. And then even after that, I forgot everything. Like, I didn't know what plants were. I remember thinking about what is a plant? Like, do you just plant something? Like, that was the only definition I could think of is you plant something in the ground. But I couldn't think of what an actual plant was. I know that doesn't make sense, but it made sense to me at the time, and it freaked me out. I don't know why. But there were all these things I was thinking about. And I know a lot of people say when they have bad trips, uh, they... uh. Like, they'll have, like, bad images in their head or, like, see, like, flashing things. I didn't get any of that. There was only one thing I really saw that was, like, that maybe you could call disturbing. And it was just, like, red color. Like, it was, like, a, you know, like, in a movie or, like, in Dexter. That's a good way to put it. How, uh, 
when they have like a flashback or like something scares somebody how they like like dexter when he walks into that room full of blood or something where it's just like that flash red whether it's a movie a show anything right like someone gets shot in a movie and they sh do that like flash red color that's what i was seeing when i closed my eyes so there's like that flashing red i'm freaking out i keep forgetting who i am and forgetting what the world is and i'm getting freaked out by because i don't know what a plant is and then, yeah, I, I eventually kind of came to, maybe. Like, I, I I don't really know how it ended. I kind of just, like, blacked out into nothingness. But I was scared. I know I was scared. But then I calmed down pretty easily. Not pretty easily, but, like, afterwards, way afterwards. And I remember anything, any trip I've ever had, what calms me down is juice. So I put on juice, but this was before I even had other bad trips. So, like, this was, like, the original put on juice to calm me down. Which, it worked, but... It's not, not, not enough. Like I had already been through the worst of it. So yeah, that was not nice. But the, the bottom line of the story, the whole point is I should not have been tripping alone. That was dumb. Uh, I should have known my limits even now. Like that's one of the reasons I probably, I don't take psychedelics a lot. Like maybe if I really need to, if I'm like confused in my brain or something, but yeah, it's been years just cause, just cause bad trips. Like, I don't have the right mental for it. I don't know what it is, but my mindset is no matter how badly, like even if I really wanted to take acid, which it's not like I want to, but it's not like I don't want to either. It's neutral. It's like, I wish I wanted to kind of, but, um, like, like I wish I could do it, but it just freaks me out. My mindset, like I, oh, that's what I was saying. Anytime I go into it, even if I'm excited or wanting to do it, like looking forward to do it, I still have the mindset of, oh no, why did I take this? This was a bad idea. What did you do? So that's never good. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If, uh, first of all, sub, share, like, comment, all that. If you enjoyed, you can become a member today if you want to. If you need someone to talk to, going through something, I answer all positive comments. My Instagram is linked, same name as my YouTube. Go there, DM me. I'll get back to you within a day or two. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Peace out. Go Bears.